What's up guys and marhaba assalamu alaikum and welcome to this Arabic class. Yes, we are outside today. Figured we'd switch it up. I had to dry some laundry anyway, so let's have a quick chat. With Eid approaching, I figured it, it's only fitting to talk a little bit about what Eid, or excuse me, what Eid is and um, give you a few phrases to be able to wish somebody a happy Eid. Cool? You guys ready? Yalla. Oh, before we start, please subscribe if you haven't. It helps a lot. Boom, one button, and we're good to go. All right, on to the video. So for those of you, first of all, if you're watching this and it's way past eight, uh, still watch it, learn something, and then when the next eight approaches, you wish your friend a happy eight, or you know how to say happy eight. For, for those of you that don't know, so eight in, in um, Muslim religion, there's two main celebrations. That are called the Eid. The Eid is like celebration. There's the Eid al Fitr and there's the Eid al Adha. Eid al Fitr, which is the one that's approaching, we're going to be celebrating soon or tomorrow or the day after, is the Eid that, that ha takes place after the holy month of Ramadan. So, and it, it, it signifies the end of the month of fasting and people can start eating and, and going back to, to normal. Um, uh, Fitr comes from breakfast, so the, the celebration of breaking fast. And now the other Eid, Eid al-Adha, happens after the Hajj, the pilgrimage. With either, so you're, you're um, very similar traditions, you're seeing family, you're, um, you're making Ka'k al-Eid, which are these pastries that have, uh, that are stuffed with dates or pistachios. Um, they're called Ka'k al-Eid or Ma'mool. There's going to be a photo here somewhere. Um, you're visiting family, like I said, you're, the, the older people give younger kids uh, or children Eidiyat, which are monetary gifts. And uh, this, is, this is always a lot of fun for kids. Like for me, I remember I, like I was a baller when I was a kid just from like those three days of Eid, just getting like those Eidiyat. Um, I would like uh, just go out to the, the grocery store or the can, we used to call them, like the um, convenience store or uh, like down the street in Jordan and like ball out, like buy all kinds of chips, or, or, like all the sodas out there uh, with all the ADF that we have. But I also remember this, this always used to be like some sort of um, like, like fight between the parents and the relatives. like. You'd have an aunt trying to give ID um, or the gift to a kid, and then the mom would intervene. I'm like, no, you can't give him this. We will not allow it. Just, I don't know, for pride purposes or like to be nice. But a lot of times when we're nice, it kind of turns into a, like a fight. It's like when, when I want to pick up a check and then someone is like, no, dude, I'll pick it up. And in Arab culture, this 90% of the time, this is always a fight, like who pays? So the same concept I feel trickles down into Eidiyat. When I'm about, like when I was a kid, when I, I'm about to receive an idea from like an older aunt or relative, there's always that like resistance from, from a closer family member from my side. Like there's always, no, you cannot. And then they, they would be like, yeah, we will. And then I'm just like, like mom, let me get the money, please. Um, most of the time I would get the money, thankfully. Uh, but yeah, it is, it is a very common tradition, receiving Eidiyat, which are um, monetary gifts. I think this is turning more into a vlog than a class, but let's, let's mix, let's combine vlog and class. All right, so the class part of this, I'm going to be giving you guys a few phrases to say, um, to wish, to be able to wish someone a happy Eid. So starting with what you'll see in like, in, on billboards, on signs, uh, and commercials. So the main ones, Eid Saeed, literally happy Eid, Eid Saeed, Eid Mubarak, once again, Eid Mubarak, or Kul Aam Wa Antum Bikhair, once again, Kul Aam Wa Antum Bikhair. That's, that's very formal, but we in, in colloquial, we kind of have a, a, uh, a subset of Kul Aam Wa Antum Bikhair, or a variation of it. So we say كل عام وانتو بخير كل عام وانتو So instead of one becomes u And then انتو becomes انتو بخير Instead of بخير كل عام وانتو بخير 
Um, and then we also have كل سنة و انتو سالمين Literally same thing, um, wishing someone health and, and wellness year upon year كل سنة, every year you are well, you're wishing someone to be well every year كل سنة و انتو سالمين If you wanted to wish someone specific, you're talking to a guy كل عام و انت بخير Once again, كل عام و انت بخير to a girl كل عام و انت بخير the other the other way to say this كل سنة و انت سالم once again كل سنة و انت سالم uh, to a girl كل سنة و انت سالمي once again كل سنة و انت سالمي you're gonna hear variations of this for example in Egypt they say كل سنة و انت طيب once again كل سنة و انت طيب كل سنة كل سنة و انت طيبة كل سنة و انت طيبة and a um, few more of these but the, to be I think the most common or the, the most widely understood one would be كل عام و انتو بخير and that's because it's derived from the فصحى كل عام و انتو بخير and it's colloquialized so كل عام و انتو بخير so if I were to leave you guys with anything كل uh, thank you and كل عام و انتو بخير if you're not celebrating you now know how to wish somebody that's celebrating a happy Eid and uh, yeah, that was pretty much it for this one, guys. Thank you, and, and we'll see. Whoa, before I go, yes, my duty to ask you to subscribe. Please subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you in the next one.